Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Christelle Martinet and I just wanted to um, give you an idea of what I'm doing for these readings, the 2016-2016 highlights and an overview of January. I have here three decks and the Vera decks. I'll be taking the Neapolitans as well should I need that. And the first deck is the um, Casanova, Casanova deck. Second deck is my is is a what the Italians call the universal deck. In a sen essence, it's a um, an artistic version of the Rider Waite with the uh, writing in Italian. And the last deck is the Alexander Egorov Golden Edition Tarot. Now, and of course, this is the Vera Sibilla cards oh, and. As you can see, this is a very brilliant version, a very bright artistic version of the Veracibila smaller cards, and they'll be new for the new year. New, new, new. Okay, now I'm going to take three uh, areas, sex and love, friends and extended family, and finance or activity. Of course, as you know, you ask questions and the tarot will tell you other things. For example, with the um, Casanova deck, I'm aiming for sex and love, with the Rider weight, friends and extended family, and with the Alexander Tar um, Egorov uh, tarot deck uh, for the um, finances. However, I have found that especially these two, the Rider weight and the uh, Egorov, mix and match. So, when that is the case, we'll talk about that. And then I take three cards, one from each deck for the month of January specifically, and highlight with the um, Vera Sibila and, uh, if I need it, the, um, the Neapolitan deck. So here we go. Hi, Libra. Here I am again with that this projection into 2016. I know it's far away, but we'll be including January as well. I have my decks here all pre-shuffled, and what I'll do is fan them so I save time on the video. It may seem shorter, but it's really just a matter of the shuffling. And I'll take three cards from the Casanova deck. Three cards from this international deck that uh, is the Rider Waite Italian style. Libra, Libra, Libra. Now, what have we got here? What have we got here? All right, let me show you the cards. This is the um, Three of Wands Casanova deck, the four, opla, four of Pentacles Casanova style, and the Seven of Swords Casanova style. Now, as you can see, the Seven of Swords is quite different from the uh, traditional tarot, and I'm reading it as the Casanova here, all right? This is a love, the love domain in the year 2016, Libra. And I have here that what I'm actually seeing is that for those of you who are partnered, it's a strong partnership, very strong. For those of you who are not partnered, it is a matter of reconciling your your uh, male and female sides, Be and you are very balanced now. There's a very strong, strong bond, extremely strong bond, and it's um, a bond that will be. Uh, there's a lot of complicity as well, as you can see, a lot of complicity in all areas of life. In those. Um, areas of life that seem to be even more difficult. What you do, you don't keep the mask on. There's no funny business. You sit down, you eat, drink, and discuss. Even here, when there's matter, matters of um, counting the pennies, let's call it counting the pennies, you're together. You're always together. OK, 
Okay, there's and and there are the two of you, and many of these cards in the um, Casanova deck, there are other people involved. This is a very strong relationship, and it's also reminding you that the togetherness is what will keep it strong if this is what you so desire. All right, now the um, extended family and friends, fam family, extended family and friends. We're, what do we have here? We have the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Uh, this is an area of your life in 2016 which is probably poised to have the most movement, the most heartache, the most energetic difficulty for you. And where you're moving in these, you're moving in these circles and you're acting in these circles, you're, you're, you're taking choices in these circles. This Knight of Swords slashes through all of the garbage in your life. And you're turning your back on certain friends, on certain situations, on certain family members that you feel have not served you or for some reason they have done you wrong. You're slashing through all of it and you're trying heavily, dis very, with a lot of, of, of difficulty, to create a new circle of friends and family, what you would like to call your family. Now, this is not easy. And when we have the energy of the Knight of Swords, it's always a little messy. It could be messy. There could be bloodshed. You know, we have uh, the, the cups that uh, are left behind, but this may even lead to some uh, things being cut that you, you know, may not have or should not have cut, you know. So uh, the, the idea here is to try to maintain a certain balance. And there is a heavy load, and you have taken it upon yourself. But remember, we're talking about extended family and friends here and your immediate family. We're talking about an area of your life where you come from, your family, where you have come from, your friends, those who you have chosen to surround you with, and the extended family, those truly dear people in your life who have been very instrumental in your development. Now, you go around slaying like that and, you know, whipping that uh, sword around, causing a lot of difficulties, and, and you're going to be off balance. You'll be tipping off balance. So the idea here is if you do want, these two people are turning their head, they're, they're turning away. It's as if this year for you is a year that you want to make a clean slate. You want to definitely discern, distinguish a, an area for you, a home, a place where you can do anything that you like and know that you will be among friends and dear people, dear to your heart. Life is not always like that, lo and behold. So beware of that slaying process and bloodshed. We don't want any bloodshed, okay? So, that, but that will be foremost, foremost on your mind. Um, I will take a couple of asipilas on that. All right, here we have the uh, area that is most speaks to finance, and we have the star. The star, the nine of coins, and the nine of swords. Now, these are two nines, and it's as if they are mirroring each other, the abundance and the wealth. You are almost fearful of it. It's as if you know where to go. You're afraid to go because you're not used to it, and it has to do with this slaying process, this uh, change, this radical change with the people who surround you. But there's this lovely star, this lovely star that shines on you and it does give you a certain amount of success financially. If it weren't for your fears, okay, those of you who want to risk capital, there's always a balanced um, moment of equilibrium. I don't have to tell you what to do in the stock market, but, you know, balance is the watchword and it's about hunches. It's about inspiration. It's about knowing what to do at the right time and having the, the liberty, freedom to move. Okay. And that's what you should be moved by and inspired by. Let me take three Sibila on this. Um, these are all pre-shuffled, but I'll take them from in the deck. Okay. Now, oops. All right, I've got here 
um, yeah, they are warning you. They are warning you. There are two cards of change, Ladro, the thief and the old lady. And um, this speaks of severe change. This talks of movement in change. So you're changing, you're going towards something different that you want to define. But what happens? This is the female enemy, Namika. It too is telling you, if you go blindedly ahead as this ace, this um, knight of spades desires to do, you're, you'll be in for some hot water there. Okay, so let's remember that. Now I'm going to take three cards from each one of each of these decks for the month of January to see how we kick off the month, the year. Oh, <laughs> it's flying cards, flying cards. All right, now um, we have the devil. We have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the the uh, Hermit card. Now, this is the beginning of the year, remember, and it's having read the others. This tells me that you're coming from. Remember that we're coming from 2015. January is usually a moment when you you make you know, good intentions. You start making yourself promises. And what do we have here? You're coming from a very, very difficult place. A very difficult place. You know, I can, can't, we don't even want to go there, but there's, this is full of things. You know, this could be addictions. This could be obsessions, basically obsessions with anything. People, substances, drugs, anything. There's, there are obsessions there. Thankfully, very much thankfully you are graced with this ace of pentacles and you take time to illuminate what has gone down so you can understand it better for the entire year these two are mirroring each other and it's a good thing this has created balance from which the uh, spiritual ace of coins has come up come out and as you can see, all of these domains are truly linked. It's not that you can talk about your love life without talking about your spiritual life, without talking about your family and your extended uh, family and your the people who surround you. And, you. and the way you earn your money, the way you pay your bills, the way, you, you know, how your, your hobbies bear fruits for you. Um, they're all linked because spirit is one. And we are in a web and we are truly linked. There's harmony. If in the past there were obsessive, there was obsessive behavior and obsessive, obsessions in general that has tipped over, you know, uh, disoriented and um, caused imbalance, imbalances for you, this January is definitely a month when you're going to need to shine that light um, within and find your way out of that find your way out of that because what what the year 2016 really holds for you is a star shining down on us and you know the nine of coins abundance really if you can temper your fears you know and temper that um, energy of the knight of swords and, and stop lashing out at everyone um, this Libra is calling upon you to be the Libra that you are and I'll leave it as that let me take the Vera Sibila on that yes 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 okay all right now these three cards the trip the travel changing moving uh, changing position and the falsehoods and the uh, lies potential traps that you can um fall in and the card of imeneo the the um the intimacy card they're telling me they are all linked these domains in the year 2015 16 and they're telling me also that before you move beware of the pitfalls and 
your intimacy in the sense of you, yourself, and, 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 and those around you, you, in an interior monologue with yourself, is poised to gain from that. Turn, come back, come back, come back, go back, go back, Libra, to that equilibrium that so well defines you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for all of the support that you've given me in 2015 and for the honor of reading for you, projecting into the future and uh, clarifying January for you. It was a pleasure for me to do this. Namaste, my friends. And until we read again, bye-bye.